What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite energy weapons in all Fault 76. We have the Tesla Rifle. Starting off with the weapon, this is my two-star legendary Tesla rifle that we're going to be using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is a plus 300% to ammo capacity, and it also is a plus 25% to weapon speed. Over the mods, we're using the automatic barrel, reflex sight, and the silver shroud paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Tesla rifle and build, we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Lancelot. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by shooting him in the leg, so hopefully we can cripple him. So here we go, fantastic, fantastic. Just eat my laser, you behe- Oh, oh, okay, he's, he's dead. And it wasn't a laser, it's electricity. The next targets on our list to fill the wrath of our Tesla rifle are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're first going to start off with this guy right here. Goodbye, you stupid warlord. Uh oh, uh oh, forgot to reload. Here we go, fantastic, fantastic. Got the bat shots going. Absolutely amazing. And look at the arc of that Tesla rifle. We are hitting them from everywhere. It's freaking amazing. Holy crap. Let me just sit over here, reload. Oh my god, there is a dog. Let me just get over here real quick and then zap him to death. Fantastic, fantastic. Can we hit this dude with the bats? To the face. Look at that distance, and that is 796. Not bad at all. There we go. Just get him out of here. Maybe get this guy out of there. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, hello, Warlord. Do you want to feel the power of my Tesla rifle to the face? And you're dead. So is that guy back there. Oh, we've got one more Warlord. Here we go. Let me just zap him in the face. And just like that, all of our super mutants are no more. Now I've made my way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Pam. And we're just gonna start by zapping her. Oh my god, I have no ammo. Never mind, never mind. Let me back up real quick. There we go. Fantastic. Maybe inside of Vats for a second. You gotta be mindful of her laser because that is a deadly laser. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. The amazing thing about Tesla rifles, I can shoot over here and still hit her. Look at that damage. Not bad at all. Vats attack. Woo wee! Look at that. Extremely deadly Gatling laser. Anyways, let me just continue to zap her. Holy crap, look at that arc. I can even shoot from right over here and still hit her. Is that not amazing? And look how far away she is. She's at the top of the stairs and now shooting right here and hitting her. That is absolutely insane. For our final target, we have one of the most vicious creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're actually just gonna lock onto her spouts real quick because the poison is the most deadliest thing about her. So let me just get over here, lock onto the spouts, and try to cripple them. Wait just a second, where's she at? There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Now let me just destroy her in the face with this Tesla rifle. Uh oh, there we go. I think the spout is crippled because she is not shooting poison at me. Now let me just finish her off. And just like that, our Myla Queen is no more. Now over in the build, these are the base stats to make up our in-game bloody Tesla rifle build that we used for the video, so if you want to use the exact but I was using, this is a start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our in-game Tesla rifle build. Starting off in strength, we have 6 and this we're going to have Challenge Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all Kims including Stimpaks are reduced by 90%. We have Blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 15 and this we're going to have all the Commando cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of this build. We have Tank Killer at 3 stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% to armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have Concentrated Fire at 1 star. Bats now target limbs, focus fight to gain accuracy and damage per shot. We have Grenadier at 2 stars. Your explosives detonate with twice radius and this works with our legendary prayer card Far Flung Fireworks. Over in Endurance, we have 13 and this one can have Ironclad at 4 stars. Gain a plus 40 resistance to damage and energy while not wearing power armor. We have Kinfiend at 3 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 100% longer and we did take Overdrive and Psycho Tats in this video. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength at max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6 and this is going to have Filter at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this is going to have Nerdridge at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Batteries included 
rated at 3 stars. Energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less. Over in agility, we have 15 and this we can have action boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have evasive at 3 stars. Each agility point adds a plus 3 to resistance to damage and energy max 45 no power armor. We have gunfu at 1 star. Bat swap targets on kill with a 10% to damage to your next target. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have better criticals at 3 stars. Bats criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have serendipity at 3 stars. While both 30% health gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have starch genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and rider will never cure mutations. We have critical savvy at 1 star. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. And we have tormentor at 3 stars. Your rifle attacks have a 15% chance of crippling a limb. Over in legendary perk cards, so these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in-game build. Starting off in strength, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out, intelligence maxed out, luck maxed out, far flung fireworks at 2 stars, and funky duds at 3 stars. These are the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives me a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except endurance when low health. And since we're a low health bully build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the Under Armour, what I'm using is my shielded Secret Service Under Armour to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Scully Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our kim buffs, we're using overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and psychotats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you do fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best unique weapons in all Fallout 76, the Pepper Shaker. So if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Pepper Shaker video.